If you own or drive an electric car, then charging will be pretty familiar, whether it's at home or when you're out and about. It's part and parcel of owning or running an EV. Or is it? Chinese brand Neo thinks differently. Sure, you can plug in this ES8 just like any electric car, but this electric car has got a trick up its sleeve and a game-changing one at that. You see, Neo believes there is a place for battery swap technology in the future of zero emissions transportation. But this isn't pie in the sky stargazing. This, for Neo, is here and now. By October 2021, the company had installed 517 power swap stations across China, allowing owners to switch their battery pack and go from empty to full in just five minutes. But an idea that started and indeed matured in China is coming to Europe. And given the fact that NIO already sells this big flagship ES8 here in Norway and EV uptake is so significant, where else would you put your first European battery swap station? So we're here to find out if this is the counter argument to so-called range anxiety or charge anxiety. If you can swap your battery in the same time it takes you to fill up your car with petrol or diesel, could this be a viable future solution? We're here to find out. First things first, a service like this is only as good as the infrastructure. And clearly, having just a single site in the whole of Europe means that, for now at least, its appeal will remain limited. But let's very briefly look to China. As mentioned, with over 500 swap stations already in operation and big plans for plenty more, NIO is already performing more than 20,000 battery swaps per day. It wants to do the same in all main markets. While the UK is a little way down the pecking order, continental Europe is very much part of that plan. Norway today, Germany, Holland and Denmark soon. A total of 4,000 swap stations are coming, 1,000 of which NEO says will be outside of China. So NEO calls its battery swap technology a worry-free power solution. And OK, today we are going to experience it in a kind of controlled environment. We've got NEO representatives on hand should anything go wrong. But ultimately, it's exactly as a customer would experience it. So, in fact, if a customer turns up and they decide that they want the battery swapped, then we've got to get out of the way because they take priority, and rightly so. But look, we've been driving the ES8 most of the morning. We've lost a significant amount of charge, and we're now at a point where we probably would be looking for a battery swap station. So, look, we're going to call in our, uh, our friend from NEO. This is... Daniel from Hi, Leo. Richard. Hi, Richard. Hello. And you're going to talk us through the, the, the battery swap scenario. Yes, yes. we want to get as fast as possible to the next destination. So I would say let's, let's get our five minute swap experience. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. I basically, in front of me, see the name of the station with the available batteries. Mm -hmm. We do order now. Order placed. It's now your turn for power swap. Start Tap power on swap. the screen okay. to start. Awesome. You please manually drive the car to a power swap area, okay. then activate the brakes. You can so just move it into the into the box, which I can see on the screen please here. Please press the brake pedal. Please, the pleasure awesome. is yours. You can tap you can to park in a power swap okay. station. And we can forget about our hands so and our feet. Feet off the no pedal. Brake. Power okay. swap has started. Once you've initiated the process, the car moves into place automatically, guided by 200 and 39 sensors and four cloud computing systems. Each battery hotel houses 13 batteries, kept at a steady 20 degrees for optimum performance. Presume that it, it would sense if a car was trying to come past. Of course, of course. It uh, senses the, the position of uh, the, the location of the vehicle and also uh, the relatively position of the vehicle with respect to the swap station. Mm -hmm. Once we approach the swap station, uh, there's also a scan. We have QR codes, so the cameras of the vehicle are making a scan and uh, to identify that the vehicle is inside the power swap and give the order to start the power swap process. Please, you can st start the power swap. Preparing. This may take some time. Please wait. And our power swap operator just press on the OK button to mm -hmm. start. Now we will feel that the car is going to be shifted a bit left to right to be in the perfect position to uh, ensure that power swap at the is about next to start. stage the battery During is this completely time, aligned. The vehicle the may shake and make noise. Once in place, the car is gently lifted by 50 millimeters before the cells are unscrewed and removed by the machine. At this point, a fresh battery, charged to 90% and good for around 300 miles of range, is taken from the hotel, before 10 laser-guided bolts fix it back in with little more than a few clunks and a few clicks. After this procedure, 
we have a safety procedure where uh, there's a check the vehicle makes to ensure that, that everything and all the systems is mm -hmm. all safe. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at your driving steering wheel on the left, the, the, you will see a blue light okay. and it's the first heartbeat of the vehicle. Oh, okay. It means that the vehicle is waking up and you will experience that then the navigation system, all the auxiliary systems we had before, turn on again. Most NEO owners will effectively lease their cars and pay a monthly subscription fee between 146 and 209 euros for the battery. This gives you two swaps or up to 200 kilowatt hours of rapid charging. Outside these parameters, the prices are pretty reasonable too. At the time of filming, NEO was charging a 10 euro flat fee plus 20 cents per kilowatt hour, effectively giving you a full battery for less than 30 euros or quite a bit less than rapid charging at, say, an Ionity 350 kilowatt charger. Power swap completed. Beyond refueling, Be yeah? Perfect. Drive out of the station. Okay. If you can go in drive mode, then uh, you can drive out. And there you go, current battery level 90%. 90% to keep the health uh, of the battery. We decided not to, 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 uh, to fully charge the battery, but mostly 90% mm -hmm. provides you around 500 kilometers of range. Perfect. Thank you so much. Welcome. If you thought it was just a simple switch like for like, Neo has another surprise up its sleeve. You see, Neo offers different battery packs ranging from 70 kilowatt hours right up to 150 kilowatt hours, meaning that in theory you could run a lighter and more efficient smaller battery model day to day, dock into a swapping station before a big trip, and almost instantly switch into a car with twice the range, all without you or your family so much as stepping out of the car. And all, we timed it, in less than six minutes. As impressive as this tech is, and believe you me, it really does feel like a potential glimpse at the future of electric vehicles. Ultimately, this tech is hampered by the fact it's only really ever going to be available to NEO customers. It's just not as scalable as Tesla's supercharger network. It's difficult to open up to third parties unless they take the platform and the battery tech wholesale. The thing is, are we needlessly overcomplicating things? Sure, it's a great talking point and in action it's really impressive tech but that talking point when you're talking to your mates about it in the pub they're going to be sat there with their car plugged in their tesla their bmw their mercedes outside just simply sucking up the electrons without any of the complication do you know what i'm undecided head to drivingelectric.com for all the latest electric and hybrid car advice news and reviews and check us out on twitter facebook and instagram Finally, while you're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to ensure you never miss a video.